Okay, do you have some questions? Yeah. Question. Um, so, one of this, um, like, um, I, a Hindu school that says uh, says that there is a, a primal matter. The, uh, they, how how sh should one understand the idea of primal matter? They say the intelligence connects to the primal matter, and then this is eternalism. How do you, how should one look? Or, or listen when somebody says that. Yeah, then we need to listen to the dissayer. To what? To who said that? And we need to ask to the sayer. Do you have other questions? Rinpoche, uh, ah oui. Traduction en anglais. Non, non, mais moi je parle en français. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, D'accord. Je vais poser le une... français. D'accord, merci. Je ne saisis pas euh, euh, la renaissance en, en tant que préta dans un jardin de fleurs. Je ne comprends pas. Si vous pouvez m'en dire davantage. Could you please explain what is a rebirth as a preta in the garden of flowers? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Yes, under the garden there's some pretas. Many insects are the pretas. And they bore in the some in the garden flower and there's not much food. It's all the time hungry. But most insects are the pretas. Deco? Saba, yes? It's about the anger. As we said, that is destroyed the merit that we have accumulated in the past how we can progress on the path if uh, we are someone who was easily getting angry. Easily? Getting angry. Angry. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> we forgot often to make dedication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have other questions? <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting now, I'm, I'm counting now, okay? How many times I give answer? <laughs> First counting. I already answered this. Do you have other questions? <laughs> yes? En français, euh, tout est impermanent. Donc, le dharma est impermanent, mais si dire tout est impermanent, ça veut dire que cette phrase-là aussi, c'est impermanent. Tu as peut-être l'autre, ça va Question Ah, the question is, uh, is the Dharma impermanent? 
because everything is say, everything is impermanent. So oh. um, is is Dharma impermanent? Oh. What do you mean? I mean, is what do you mean, Dharma? The teachings. The teaching. Mm. This teaching is not really one single. This teaching is permanent. I'm not sure. It's a like we can to say it's easy things, okay. Like a drive lesson, this book. Drive lesson, how to drive, okay? The guideline of this book. This book is permanent or impermanent? Hmm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? You mean this, this one book or general these teachings? Both. Mm-hmm. Both is impermanent. Okay. Then is Dharma is impermanent. <laughs> But this teaching of the, is, how do you say, to lesson book. Book is not only one book. Book, there's scripture, many books. And uh, endless, this book. Also, this inside, this subject matter is, and uh, when you learn, studies, if you have in your mind. Therefore, Dharma is the scripture Dharma, the realization Dharma. And then it's like, a, mm, which one is like, what do you think? Sculpture of the, this book, this driver lessons book, sculpture is, there's a picture how to drive, or talking about. And realizations, papers to drive, that times you have a knowledge inside. And a little like this, then it's, uh, what do you think, impermanent? Okay. Yeah? Huh? What, what, what do you mean, this problem? Uh, what? There is a contradiction. Which contradiction? It's because when we say everything is impermanent, it's like, yes. it's like saying everything is relative. Relative? If you say. If you say. If you say everything is impermanent, this is impermanent. If you say the impermanent, then it's impermanent. Yes. If you say the impermanent, that means not impermanent. If you say... Mm. Mm. Yes. Oh yes, if you say the permanent, it's not permanent, impermanent. If you say the impermanent, it's a permanent, you know? Then there, in the Dharma, there is the maybe reality, their dharmas go beyond. <laughs> okay, look. Ami says, if you say the impermanent, there's a permanent. If you say the permanent, there's impermanent. In the Dharma, it is a perspective. Reality is go beyond. What do you mean the Dharma? Uh, 
This book is not really dumb. Inside this book, there's many sentences, word, the explanations. Wisdom and compassion are impermanent. <laughs> what do you think your feeling of the happiness and the sorrow is permanent? <laughs> really? Yes. N no. <laughs> it's just a change. When you like this, you say that my sorrow is permanent. <laughs> Not? No. Okay, impermanent, yes? Okay. Of course. <laughs> and therefore, it's, compassion is a feeling. Wisdom is also feeling and in the movement of the mind. And this movement is like also go beyond the permanent, impermanent. You say it's a permanent, where is the permanent compassion and wisdoms? If you say it's a impermanent, you know, there's nothing, you know, there is. Truly you have compassion and wisdoms. And then is you need to go beyond that. Then it's correct view. Fantastic. You are not falling into the nihilistic. You are not falling into the eternalism. And that is the, our the conversation point. And it also is a dharma, really dharma in the respect perspective. You know. The dharma is the kind of the explanation of the, your body, speech, mind. The movement of body, speech, mind. This movement is correct. This movement is incorrect. This is explanation. And then this movement is incorrect movement, movement brings sufferings. Correct movement bring the happiness. This is the explanation itself. Dharma itself is the go beyond permanent or impermanent. What we come to say Dharma. Just as we can to say Buddha he taught like there is 84,000 books or maybe verses. And this, this one is maybe permanent or impermanent. What do you mean generally the meaning of the Dharma? The, like the same as the our maybe, I mean, I took example of the, the, the drive lessons book, okay? No, dive lesson. Dive, really the, the book and the scriptures are, which one is we can to say the permanent or the impermanent? There is maybe millions of books there. So which part of the book? Or single book, or what you mean is the permanent or impermanent? And then if someone's to study these this guidelines to drivers, you have inside your knowledge, that time is the scripture, the books, the useless. Then you have inside these driver lessons. And that one is also is like there is a go beyond the permanent. What is going to die? What is going to permanent to stay? There is like same like this. The Dharma is the teaching explanation of the is correct. What is correct? What is incorrect? And then is the the explanation of the basic ground path fruitions. And then you do like begin like this, middle you do like this, the result is like this. Then this explanation, just this explanation. It's like Dharma, there's something concrete or something existing or there's nothing you can't say. Go beyond existence, no existence. <laughs> and other questions? Yes. Maybe you can do first to say in, inside. They can hear. Um, Est-ce que les vraies questions ne seraient-elles pas celles qui, qui sont sans réponse? That's the true question. Um, are the true questions those which are without answer? 
two questions without answer. Yes. True, true. Two true. True questions. True questions. Which true questions? Quelle vraie question? True, the true or the number of the two? <laughs> true. Okay. Two questions. The what do you mean? True. What? True. Est-ce que tu veux dire par vrai? La, la, la vraie question est celle qui. It's the question. Yeah. I, 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 I don't have the answer. <laughs> I'm waiting for your questions, and you give answer yourself, or I will try to. I'm listening. You know, first I'm waiting for your question. Si on part sur un principe de physique quantique, où quand on veut regarder un, un événement, d'office, on perd, on perd l'information. Est-ce que quand on... So, so, first, the, the initial question. The, huh? He wants to define a true question as a question which is without an answer. So that's his first question. Is it like this? That a true question a is a question without Question of answer. the true without answer question. So the true character of a question is it that it's without answer. So he wants to associate true question, a question without answer. Is it so? Mm -hmm. Without answer, there's no existence of the true characteristics. Then is what your questions. And so, no, no. Two, two characteristics, yeah, and this is my answer. Two characteristics without answer means two characteristics what? Two characteristics. What does it mean? Two characteristics. <laughs> what, Matthew? You are adding the word characteristics, but I, I don't know. Ah oui. Quand on se pose, on se pose beaucoup de questions, et souvent on trouve énormément de réponses qui seraient un peu comme des justifications pour trouver le bon chemin. Pour essayer de trouver la bonne question. Et quand on arrive à la bonne question, mon expérience, c'est que je reste sans réponse. D'où ma question. Est-ce qu'une indication, quand on est sur le bon chemin, c'est qu'il n'y a pas nécessairement de réponse, c'est quelque chose qui, qui marche tout seul <laughs> I think you, you, you understand French? So, so it is like this that sometimes, I mean, often we ask many questions and mm -hmm. we have many answers. So for every question we have an answer. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we give answers very easily mm -hmm. for all questions. But it's not really the real answer to the question, the, the fundamental question. So the, when it's really true question, something that really has no answer, then it's like something is, we touch something that is really truthful. So I, I mean, this is how I understand. So, 
you, you reach something that maybe now I'm adding up, okay? Maybe opens your mind or you, you come up, then he says like the, the past and you, you reach something like meaningful when it's, it's a, a, a question that touches uh, the true point. You understand or no? Not. Okay, maybe again in French. But this is the... Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay. Souvent, on se pose beaucoup de questions. Uh -huh. hmm? Et... C'est la nature, c'est la nature de ma question. C'est que quand on a une, une vraie question qu'on se pose, c'est à partir du moment où on se la pose, naturellement, il n'y a pas de réponse et les choses. Voilà. Ok. Natural question about the natural, yes. Mm -hmm. Probably it's a question in the natural, without, without yes. answer. <laughs> <laughs> natural questions without answer, then there's no name of the questions. If you ask something, if you say something, or if you think something, and you put something you question, you have this is conceptual. It's not natural. Give an answer or not answer, and you put something there is questions, it's conceptual, not natural. If you move your mouth, you move the, your ideas, you move something, it's not natural. Then there is no questions. Then you'll need answer. <laughs> may, may I, if I can, mm -hmm. try to understand his question? Um, if you say, where do I come from? Mm -hmm. And then you have many answers to that mm -hmm. question. I'm coming from my, my parents or my mother, mm -hmm. or I'm coming from... No, I so give answer. You all come from yourself. <laughs> Good, so it's not the true question. <laughs> so if, if it would be a question without an easy answer, as you say, okay, okay. then okay. maybe it's a true question. Okay, okay. That's what I, I might understand. <laughs> but where's my myself coming from? Myself. Uh -huh. Myself is coming from myself. Yes. Nothing else. <laughs> That's the answer. Okay. They break five minutes. 